Gucci, Gaff and Black, pick up their baseball bat, bam, bam, bam. You're not gonna come back from this attack. What the f- Oh, right, okay, okay, we're back at this again, are we? Gonna roll Gucci, Gaff and Black, pick up their baseball bat, bam, bam, bam. Right, so it's been well over a year, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm still talking about this. But it's been a while since I talked about children rapping, and to be honest, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. So anyway, Lil T and his mates dropped a new song. Copy my hair, copy my trainees, no, your ex, yeah, she sucked me off. This kid bro, I love how Jack Wilkinson, the bloke who runs this channel, has been like, oh, yeah, yeah, him saying someone sucked him off, that's all good. But absolutely no swearing on my channel. But anyway, aside from that, Jack has somehow managed to find another kid willing to go on BG Media. Like, don't do this to yourself, lads. Like, yo, let's start some beef, get smacked and lose a few teeth. Get smacked and you'll lose a few teeth. Mate, you, you look fresh out of year two. You can't be going about doing that. You'll get a lunchtime detention. But this video is just a minute and a half of him saying how he's going to beat up people and has beat up people in the past. Like, I, I'm not joking. Put you out in a one, two, three. I'll hit you with that ground and pound. I'll hit you with a sick combo. Left, right, that's it. Good night. Gonna roll G Gaff and Black. Pick up their baseball bat. Bam, bam, bam. Grab this leg and bend it like Beckham. Did a super kick like I was from Tekken. How does Jack keep finding kids like this like i'm baffled like does he just have a big list of kids with asbos and just go around their house and ask if they want to be in a rap video what is up okay so last month like pretty much every month this year there's been a, a little bit of drama and last month's drama sparked when jake paul made a video showing off his new house and then for some reason rice gum decided to make a video pretty much just saying his house is better 7.3 million dollars that is a lot of money our house is like 13 or 14 million i forgot and then somehow that managed to piss jake off to such an extent that he decides to make pretty much a whole video moaning about it and talking about his wage. If I make $60,000 in one day, I come here to my bed and I cry myself to sleep as a failure. Oh yeah, mate, I'm totally the same. And then Rice Gum hit back with a 25 minute video debunking everything Jake said. What did that make Logan my grandfather? Because he made your career. And then of course, because it's Rice Gum, he does a, a little humble brag about how much he earns. I would consider 60k a week a very, very bad week. Brian, mate, no, no, no one cares. Got he! <laughs> Football sign brand is a national embarrassment and 20,000 fans agree. Oh yeah, it makes me want to emigrate that. But anyway, it turns out that the football on UK road signs isn't mathematically correct as this bloke explains. Behind me is the official UK street sign for a football stadium and that football is incorrect. That geometry will not work. Oh no, what, what a travesty. I don't think I can live a normal life now that I know this information. And so I started a petition to get the mathematics of that football corrected. The link is... My man actually started a full-on parliament petition. Doesn't parliament have more important things to be discussing than the fact that the football and the road signs looks a little different to how it does in real life? And when you go to the zoo, you get pictures of an elephant. That's an actual elephant. It wasn't just someone going... What's an elephant look like? I don't know, it's got like some legs and some trunks. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty elephanty. No, everything else looks like what it is. Why don't the footballs? Well, that, that was a very empowering speech for football's rights or whatever. But I'm not being funny, mate. But no one's looking at these signs and going, I wonder what that is. Surely that can't be a football. It's mathematically incorrect. <laughs> Right, so as a lot of you guys would know, I made a video a few days ago on the game Bim Weevils, and it, 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 it's just beautiful. But anyway, shortly after uploading that video, I received a couple of emails from someone claiming to be from Bim Weevils. And the first email goes, greetings and salutations. Recently, a member of our team has discovered a video of yours that reviews our game in a negative light. This has grown media attention and had a harsh effect on us. Nah, it, it hasn't, though, has it? We would appreciate this video being removed as our game is designed to make children happy and be a wonderful wonderland for children and adults alike. We do not appreciate jokes being made about our serious game. Please take down this video or legal action will be taken. This is not a joke. This is a final warning. Have a wonderful, bintastic day. Like, I love how they pretty much threaten me. And then a couple of sentences later say, have a wonderful, bintastic day. Like, yeah, I'll be sure to do that now, lads. Now, if that first email wasn't threatening enough, I got a second one from them only a few hours later. Greetings and salutations. We have been informed that your video during 
in which you mocked us is still up for the public to see. We would appreciate the video being removed within 24 hours of this email being sent. Our game is to provide the youth with something to do and have fun whilst doing it. Oh yeah, I'm sure Bim Weevils is keeping the kids off the streets. Like, how many more kids would be involved in knife crime if it wasn't for Bim Weevils? Like, think about it. Youth knife crime statistics dropped to an all-time low when Bim Weevils dropped. We can't go back to how it was before. Personally, I am unsure why you decided to mock us. <laughs> and harm the children that still play our game. I haven't harmed anyone, what the fuck? I request to know what good that video does for you, us, and our wonderful community. Well, for you guys, you definitely got a few more eyes on them nerf ads. And then the last four sentences reads, we do not approve of your sinning against our game. A reply would be appreciated before we take this further. This is a serious issue. Have a wonderful, bintastic day. Now, I'm about 99% sure this isn't from Bin Weevils, mainly because I don't think there's a sin single games company out there that would email someone saying we do not approve of your sinning against our game like where in the bible does it say i can't call someone clapped on bin weevils but th there's still that one percent chance that this might be real and if it is real then th that's just phenomenal you got twitter but you ain't got notice okay now a couple of things happened on twitter this month first of all we had this account called uh teletubbies updates whose bio is expand your teletubbies knowledge by following this account for facts updates and info about this popular children's program. And I mean, I'm yet to find out one update or fact about the show. Bruh, Teletubbies is the most boring show on earth. It won't be boring when your family finds you dead in a ditch. And that's a rough idea of what this account's tweets are. I can't really read out the rest of them because if I do, I, I will definitely lose monetization. And then we had this Italian football team tweet out, a minute of reflection on all fields required by the FIGC on memory of the Holocaust. Now that tweet on its own would have been good. That would have been a nice tweet, but they didn't just leave it at that. They also added a picture of Anne Frank photoshopped onto their football kit. Just why? Like, for someone that doesn't speak Italian, it just looks like you've announced her as a signing. But it wasn't just one team that did this. Capri FC also did this. How have two different football teams thought this was a good idea? Right, but anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video, and I hope you did enjoy it. Before I go, I just want to say the growth on the channel over the last couple of weeks has just been immense. Like, I, I, I can't thank you guys enough. If we keep growing at this rate, then we're going to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. And that that is just mental to me. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe. If we do manage to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year, then I'll be sure to do something extra special for you guys. But yeah, let's try and go for 35,000 likes on this video. And yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.